Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the CHS Orchestra concert. But these are not our high schoolers. We have a little special surprise for you to start our night tonight. We had such a large fifth grade class this year in our orchestra program that they wanted more of a challenge. So we decided for the first time ever to start a fifth grade chamber orchestra, which is what you see in front of you. Uh, we're missing a few students tonight, but all of these students met about four or five times from February until now to prepare these two pieces tonight, and we couldn't think of a better place to show off all their talent. So without further ado, our first piece is called Exhilaration.
Give us about two minutes and our concert orchestra will be up next. <laughs>
Welcome to the concert orchestra portion of tonight's concert. The first piece that you heard tonight was an arrangement of a piece by Debussy uh, called La Dance Petite. Our second piece tonight will be actually more of a contemporary piece by a band called Coldplay. Uh, this is Viva La Vida. So very often in my line of work do I get to give this kind of warning, but I'm really excited to give this kind of warning. Uh, if anybody is sensitive to loud sounds, this next piece has some loud, explosive sounds. Uh, this piece is entitled 1812 Overture. It's written by a composer named Tchaikovsky. Uh, if anybody knows about this piece, this piece is famous for one thing and one thing only, and that in its entirety it used military cannon. Now, as a high school orchestra teacher, I do not have access to military cannons. 
but what I do have access to is a very high quality synthesizer and a very loud sound system. So towards the end of this piece, uh, you will actually get to hear some cannons that were programmed into a synthesizer. We hope you enjoy.
think we all understand now that more classical music needs canons. <laughs> Our final piece tonight will be entitled Warrior's Legacy. Please enjoy.
give us just a few minutes while we arrange the stage for our chamber orchestra. This was the concert orchestra. What's the difference?
The first piece you heard tonight for each ensemble was conducted by my student teacher this year, Ms. Emily Wong. Uh, she recently graduated, but we're so thrilled that she decided to come back and join us. One more round of applause for Ms. Wong. So the first piece that you just heard from the Chamber Orchestra was entitled Scheherazade. Uh, it was um, written after A Thousand One Arabian Nights, and it featured our concert mistress, uh, Miss Isabel Chan, who I forgot to include in the program. My apologies. Um, our second piece tonight is going to be William Grant Still's second symphony, specifically the second movement. William Grant Still is a lesser known composer, but an incredibly important composer in American history. Uh, he was the first con uh, conductor and composer of color to lead a major American orchestra, which was the Philadelphia Orchestra, who we actually got a chance to see earlier this year. Uh, it will feature Mr. Peter Wang on the harp in the back, and we're excited for it uh, to play for you.
So at this time, we're actually going to take a break before our final piece and recognize some very special people that are here tonight. Uh, can I ask all of our seniors to either stand up or come forward? Now I'm going to ask that we hold all of our applause until the end, uh, because we have quite a few seniors here tonight. Uh, before I list them individually and all of the incredible things that they're going to accomplish, I just wanted to take a quick moment and speak about this senior class. Uh, this senior class holds a special place in my heart. Uh, this is my fourth year at Chatham, and this is their fourth year at CHS. They were my first freshman class that I ever had coming into Chatham. And halfway through the year, a global pandemic started. And this group of musicians, from their freshman year until now, has been more than any one teacher, conductor, anybody in this world could ever ask for. They have gone above and beyond. Uh, I am not an easy conductor to work under, which I'm sure they will be the first people to tell you, but never once do they complain. All they do is ask for more difficult music. Um, it was really nice to actually be able to play Scheherazade with them tonight because that was on our spring program for spring of 2020 for a concert that we never actually got to perform. So it was nice to kind of bring it full circle and perform it as a final, or as our first piece in our final concert together tonight. Uh, but without further ado, I'm going to speak about a few of our seniors, all of our seniors, and what they'll be doing after they leave us at the end of the year. Our first senior tonight is Carl Patrick Adler, who's been involved in the orchestra for all four years of high school and has played violin since the second grade. Outside of school, he's an employee at Ceriso Kitchen in Chatham and an intern over at Lafayette with me, <laughs> helping to teach the fourth and fifth graders in orchestra. He'll be attending Fairfield University in the fall and studying nursing at Fairfield's Egan School of Nursing. Patrick. <laughs> Liam Carroll's been involved in orchestra for all four years of high school and has been playing viola since his sixth grade. Outside of orchestra, Liam was on the football and lacrosse teams. He'll be attending James Madison University this fall, studying biology, and still, I will tell him every time the Cowboys lose. Liam. <laughs> Isabel Chan has been playing violin and in orchestra since sixth grade. She's been in chamber for the last three years, but she's also played in the musicals, pit orchestras, and teaches younger violinists, which she's done since freshman year. If she's not playing violin, Isabel might be playing ukulele and sharing her passion for music through the ukulele club she founded, or trying to learn something new on guitar. Isabel will be attending Cornell University in the fall and plans to study material science and engineering. <laughs> Emerson Breeb has been involved in orchestra for all four years of high school and has played since second grade. Outside of high school, Emerson is an Eagle Scout, National Honor Society member, and plays for Chatham High School's swimming and lacrosse teams. He'll be attending Fairfield University studying biology and pre-med. Emerson. <laughs> James Hartzell has been involved in orchestra for all four years of high school, playing for three years in concert orchestra and joining the chamber orchestra this year as a senior. He's been playing viola since third grade, and he also enjoys playing the acoustic guitar for fun. Outside of CHS, James has held a part-time job at Creighton Barrel for over two years, and recently picked up another job at Hoop Heaven, where he's played basketball for three years. James will be attending Elon University in the fall, where he plans to study finance and entrepreneurship. Josh Hinneman has been in concert orchestra for all four years of high school and started playing the violin in third grade. In the fall, he'll be attending Muhlenberg College and majoring in psychology. Josh. Grace Wee has been involved in orchestra for all four years of high school and has played since fourth grade. In high school, she created a crocheting business and she also donates crochet hats, scarves, and baby blankets. Grace will be attending Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute in the fall and studying computer science. Great. Our next musician couldn't join us tonight. He's busy trying to win the county championships and track for our track team. Alex Pratt has been involved in orchestra for all four years of high school and has played the cello since fifth grade. This is his first year in chamber orchestra. Outside of school and orchestra, he is a captain of the cross country and track team and plays other instruments such as guitar and piano. 
Alex will be attending the University of Richmond in the fall, studying psychology and running cross country. Alex. Andrew Lee has been involved in orchestra for all four years of high school and has played viola since fifth grade. In high school, he also played in NJYS and New Jersey All-State Orchestra. He'll be attending Brown University in the fall and going in undecided. Andrew. James Liao has participated in the high school orchestra for four years. He's been in the honors music program at the same time. Along with his work in the Chatham music program, he has been a member of the New Jersey Youth Symphony since grade six. He's also played New Jersey Region One Orchestra and New Jersey All-State Orchestra. Aside from music, James ties Taekwondo and was a member of the Chatham swim team. James will also will be attending the University of Maryland to study computer science. James. Brandon Liu has been in orchestra for all four years of high school and has played since fifth grade. He'll be attending Purdue University in the fall and studying engineering. Brandon. <laughs> Jamie Lynch has been involved in orchestra for all four years of high school and chamber orchestra for two. She's played the violin since first grade. For all of high school, Jamie has been a member of the sailing team and is co-captain since her junior year. Outside of school, Jamie works as a sailing instructor and helps teach Chatham Middle School stagecraft students. Jamie will be attending George Washington University in the fall and studying international affairs with a concentration in security policy, along with a minor in art history. Jamie. <laughs> Jamie Mitra has been involved in orchestra for all four years of high school and has played since the third grade. In high school, he played volleyball for two years. Outside of high school, he volunteers at the Chatham Library and occasionally helps with CS Base. He is also the Vice President of CHS's Computer League. He'll be attending Rutgers University in the fall and studying computer science. Chief. <laughs> Akash Panja has been involved in orchestra for all four years of high school and has played since the third grade. In high school, Akash played for three years in the concert orchestra and one year in chamber orchestra. Beyond class, Akash was part of the tennis team and also volunteered at the Chatham Library to teach children in STEM subjects. Further, he was also an avid member of the CHS Connections Club. Akash will be attending the University of Maryland in the fall and will be studying computer science. <laughs> Oliver Sadler has been involved in orchestra for all four years of high school and has played since grade three. In high school, Oliver competed in soccer and rugby, and outside of school, spends time with his friends, family, and either at the beach or skiing. He will be attending Louisiana State University in the fall, studying entrepreneurship and marketing. Oliver. <laughs> Liam Sweeney has been involved in orchestra for all four years of high school and has played since third grade. In high school, Liam played cello for four years in concert orchestra. Outside of CHS, Liam is involved in stage crew and swimming. Liam will be attending RIT in the fall, studying cybersecurity with a minor in technical theater. Liam. <laughs> Ken Takagi has been involved with the orchestra for all four years of high school and has been playing since third grade. Outside of school, he's on the wrestling team as well as the cross country and track team. He'll be attending the University of Massachusetts Amherst and studying history. Ken. Has been involved in the orchestra program for all four years of high school and has been playing since third grade. In high school, Victoria played for two years in concert orchestra and two years in chamber orchestra. Victoria works as a part time sales associate at Sierra Trading Post outside of school. She's also the co president of the Green Team. Victoria will be attending Ramapo College in the fall to study psychology. Victoria. <laughs> Alex Wang has been involved in orchestra for all four years of high school and has played viola since the fourth grade. He's also played in the Essex County Youth Orchestra and for two years in the New Jersey Youth Symphony. Outside of school, he enjoys watching movies, road cycling, and playing soccer. Alex will be attending Cornell University in the fall, studying environmental engineering. <laughs> Rachel Williams has been involved in orchestra her freshman, junior, and senior year and has played violin since the third grade. She's the co-president of Inkblot, the high school's creative writing club, where she's run and organized the Dream Drawing Project, 
collaboration with fourth and fifth grade classes at Lafayette Elementary School. Outside of school, she sings and rings bells in St. Patrick Choir. She'll be attending Lemoyne College in the fall and studying psychology. Rachel was awarded the Presidential Scholarship from Lemoyne and has been accepted into their honors program. Rachel. Yeru Zhao has played the violin since elementary school and has been involved in orchestra for all four years of high school. Other than participating in chamber orchestra, she's the co-president of Chinese Club, president of Sewing for Smiles, and a copy editor for The Chronicle. Yeru will be attending Northeastern University in the fall and studying business and marketing. Yeru Zhao. Our last is not actually an orchestra member, but is an integral part of the concert that you see here tonight. Peter Wang is a senior who is the accompanist for the choir and also for the orchestra. Um, and he'll be attending Princeton in the fall, studying biology and pre-med. Yes. Now, we do have one more piece for you tonight, but before we do that last piece, uh, there's an important tradition that I've always wanted to start, and this felt like the year to do it. So, we actually have a very special song that only the seniors will be playing for all of you tonight. Uh, it's a little bit of a departure from what we normally play in high school, but it's a piece that many of them know from their time in middle school. Uh, it is called Deep Sea Fandanga.
more keys for you tonight. Uh, and for this piece, uh, I will say I would just like to welcome you. We set up a little bit of a celebration outside with some treats uh, to celebrate our senior class for after our concert. Uh, but I would like to speak, and I promised I would speak into the microphone tonight, and I'm doing a bad job at that. Uh, I would like to speak a little bit about our final piece tonight. Our final piece tonight, I will admit, is a bit of a selfish pick. Uh, this is one of my favorite pieces of all time, and very rarely will you have a high school group that has the ability to play it. And this year, and this group just felt like the absolute perfect time. Uh, so I'm just going to tell you a little bit about the piece, so you know the history of it as we go into it. Normally when you program a concert, you stick to a pretty specific script, which is fast piece, slow piece, fast piece. This piece does not deserve to go in the middle of any program. It's often the ender. Uh, our final piece tonight will be uh, the Adagietto from Mahler's Fifth Symphony. And this Adagietto is very interesting. Uh, the Adagietto, the history of this piece is told as if Mahler gave it to his wife or then uh, girlfriend Alma as an engagement present, which now makes my engagement look not so great, but this piece is very interesting because Alma and Gustav had a very interesting relationship. There was a lot of strife, there was a lot of tension, and for many people this relationship was a terrible idea. And you hear this very clearly in this piece. It, there's a lot of uncertainty in the, mel in the melodic content of this piece. It never quite feels stable. There's moments of intense just explosion of musical character and just absolute silence at other points. Uh, I please ask you to just sit back and really enjoy the Adagio from Mahler's Symphony.
almost casualties. It's been really tough. So in order to remedy this issue, we have very kindly, also this is signed by all of us, but we have very kindly provided you with a new baton, but we've equipped it with a little wee, wee remote strap. I think this is just what we need to do for the future. After, after a brief incident at the hospital, no one, no one completely died these four years, but we're hoping to ensure the safety of the upcoming classes. But thank you, Mr. Keller, for everything that you've done. Can we get a hand for Mr. Keller? Ms. Wong just conducted those two wonderful pieces and we just wanted to say thank you so much for tolerating us all year. And if you guys didn't know, Ms. Wong, I, she's going to Germany. She's, she's going to Germany. She's leaving us and going to Germany, but we're going to really miss her and we had a lot of fun and we're so glad that she was able to spend this year with us. So thank you. Give it up for Ms. Wong. now, but maybe let us get it first. <laughs> Thank you once again for coming out tonight. It's been an honor and a privilege to be able to play for you tonight. Let's go celebrate. Have a good night.